discipline comes from the word disciple, worthy of being followed, as opposed to just telling a child coldly and harshly what to do. This kind of discipline we're going to talk about is discipline that connects our children and, and, and really has them want to move along with us as opposed to telling them what to do. There's no such thing as a disobedient child, um, only a disoriented one. They push out their behavior and then they watch what we'll do. If we shift our reaction into, huh, that's outrageous, they will pick that up and we move ourselves out of a possible de-escalation pattern and we immediately start connecting with the child because the child recognizes that we're not going to shout at them, we're not going to be scary, we're not going to do all that stuff that we've done over and over. Shouting at them, getting frustrated with them, is going to disorient them even further right? Even further. So what I'm suggesting is understanding that is a game changer right there. When children are very little, they are in the governor phase where we are the benevolent dictator of the family state. And the family state, it's kind of, it's small. It's, 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 it's Rhode Island. By third grade, they're waking up to the world. They're seeing stuff that's going on around them by about nine years of age. So our discipline needs to shift, and the, and the metaphor I use there is the gardener. It moves from the governor to the gardener. Now the reason the gardener metaphor is used is a good gardener watches, watches, listens, will watch the soil, will watch the sky, will be listening in, knowing when to plant, knowing when to cover um, the frost tender crops. The guide metaphor I think is a helpful one is that if we can, with our teenagers, come alongside them and when things go wrong and when there's discipline needed, when something has really happened that's not okay, you come alongside a kid, you moor your canoe alongside them. What they're really interested in is their direction in life. What do we do to not, to not go down that road of, of fads, of disciplined fads? The way out of that is so common sense, it's just, it's just straightforward child development reality.